Hello friends, my name is Chinmay Deshpande. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about a topic from numerical integration. The name of a topic is derivation of Newton's Coates quadrature formula. Let us consider we have an integral i equal to integration x0 to xn f of x dx where this f of x is nothing but what y equal to f of x will be the function which will be known or unknown. Now we have a data points starting from let's say x0 y0 after that x1 y1 up to if you go you will get up to xn and yn. These are the data points which are known for a given function y equal to f of x. Now x is equally spaced here means what h will be equal to x1 minus x0 where h is the thing but a step size if you see difference between x values it will be a same now whenever we have a equally spaced data then with the help of newton's forward interpolation formula we can write it as y equal to integration f of x equal to y0 plus p delta y0 plus p into p minus 1 upon 2 factorial delta square of y0 plus p into p minus 1 p minus 2 upon 3 factorial delta cube of y0 so treat this as the equation number 1 where we know what is the value of p p is nothing but x minus x0 upon h where this x is nothing but it is interpolated value means it is that value of x for which we have to find it out value of y from this i will shift this h towards left hand side so it will be what x minus x0 will be equal to h into p now let us differentiate this equation with respect to x derivative of x with respect to x is 1 derivative of x0 with respect to x is 0 because basically it is a constant which is equal to h into dp upon dx so from that i can write it as dx will be equal to h into dp treat this as a equation number 2 now what we will do we will integrate this equation number 1.1 on both sides so we will be writing it as integration x0 to xn f of x equal to integration x0 to xn and write this right hand side of equation number 1 here. So we will get this right hand side and but obvious this last term will be of dx. Now what is the value of dx? It is equal to h into dp. So if you substitute this what you will get now at right hand side instead of writing it from x0 to xn we have to write it from 0 to n. So h will be there and here there will be a dp because in place of dx we substituted h into dp. Now what we will do, we will multiply this p inside so we will get p square minus p upon 2. If you do a multiplication of these brackets p cube minus 3p square plus 2p, 3 factorial is nothing but divided by 6. Now let us apply this integration inside we know that there is a standard formula integration x raised to n dx will be equal to what x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 plus some constant value some c will be there some constant value will be there so let me write it here c value plus c that is some constant so if you go for this now what is this p square so integration of p square will be equal to what it will be p cube upon 3 so the uh, 1 by 2 will be outside integration of p square will be p cube upon 3 minus what is integration of p it will be p square upon 2 into delta square y0 so if you if you uh, do this multiplication what you will get at a denominator you will get 12 and we know that if the limits are there from let's say 0 to 9 n so what it will be we have to substitute upper limit as the n so we will get n cube by 3 minus 0 because lower limit is a 0 so likewise if you see what you will get here you will get 2 n cube minus 3 n square divided by 12 del square y 0 plus n raised to 4 minus 4 n cube plus 4 n square divided by 24 delta cube of y 0 now what we will do here we will take n common from all the things n is there here here we have 1n here we have 1n so it will be what 
n into h into bracket this y0 term will be there if we take n common from this we will get n by 2 delta y0 if we take n common we will get 2n square minus 3n by 12 delta square y0 if you take again n common here n cube minus 4n square plus 4n upon 20 24 del cube of y0 so whatever this 1.3 equation we got this is called as newton's force quadrature formula it is a general quadrature formula from which we are going to derive various special formulas uh, which includes first one is nothing but a trapezoidal rule which will be used for a solution of numerical integration second one is nothing but simpson's one third rule and third one is nothing but simpson's 3 by 8 rule so one by one we will discuss a theory which is associated with this trapezoidal simpson's one third and simpson's 3 by 8 so always question might be asked for a six mark derive newton's force quadrature formula which is used for a solution of numerical integration or otherwise prove that this equation so this equation might be given and you have to prove this this is what is the theory associated with newton's force quadrature formula thank you for watching this video